Calculating conditional variance is uh, slightly different from calculating historical variance or a risk. In case of historical variance or a standard deviation, that is a quantifying of a risk, we use the historical data uh, or historical stock prices. Whereas in quantifying or in calculating con uh, expected variance, we use the probability values and expected return. Now I'll show you how to calculate expected variance and expected risk of a stock. Here are the expected probability values and uh, return of a stock. So based on this, you need to calculate the return variance and the standard deviation that is uh, risk. Now to calculate the expected return, as you know, expected return, this equals to summation of probability of S times return on S that is from each scenario, what is your uh, probability and what in each scenario, what is your uh, return. Then to calculate the variance that is expected variance, we use this is uh, summation of S probability of each scenario times return of S minus expected return and uh, whole square. So here what is it you need to do? First you need to calculate the expected return and substitute the expected return in variance formula. Then to calculate the standard deviation, we will give you a standard deviation here. To get a standard deviation, that is a risk, this equals to square root of variance. Now first we calculate the expected return. Expected return, this equals to, and saying that probability of S times R of S. So in the first case, in a boom scenario, it is a 0.3 times a point 0.3 plus point 0.2 times point 0.15 plus point 0.2 times point 0.10 plus point 0.3 times minus point 0.30. So now this equals to point 0.3 times point 0.3 plus point 0.2 times point 0.15 plus 0.2 times 0.1 plus 0.3 times minus 0.3. So this equals to 0 0.05 is your expected return. So expected return is equals to 0 0.05. Then we uh, calculate the variance. In case of a variance, this equals to probability times into return of S minus expected return and this whole square. So first I take the probability values that is 0 0.30, 0 0.20, then 0 0.10, 0 0.30 and the returns here we have return on s is uh, 0 0.30 0 0.20 0 0.10 then minus 0 0.30 am i right 0.3 second one is 0.15 so this is 0.15 Point one, point three zero, point one five, point one zero, and point three zero. Right. Now you have a uh, your expected return is zero point zero five. So this is point three zero minus zero point zero five, zero point one five minus zero point zero five then 0 0.10 minus 0 0.05 then minus 0 0.30 minus 0 0.05 so this equals to I'll use a calculator 0.3 minus 0 0.05 then uh, 0.15 minus 0 0.05 
then uh, 0 0.10 minus 0 0.05 then 0 0.30 minus 0 0.05 so here this is minus 0 0.30 then we need to square these values so 0 0.25 to the power of 2 then 0 0.1 power of 2 then uh, 0 0.05 power of 2 then minus 0 0.035 sorry minus 0 0.35 power of 2 so we got the these are these values are you are uh, written written minus uh, expected 10 whole square so in a formula what is that we are saying that this is probability times written minus expected written whole square so we'll uh, substitute those values here your uh, probability values are 0 0.30 0 0.20 0 0.10 and 0 0.30 and these values are times 0 0.0625 and times uh, 0 0.01 and times 0. Point, uh, sorry here I made a mistake let me rectify this Zero point zero zero two five, and this is 0. Point 1225 now this equals to point 0.3 into point zero six two five. then uh, point two zero into point zero one. then uh, point one zero into 0 0.0025 then 0.3 into 0.1225 so now we sum all this the 0 0.0188 plus 0 0.002 plus point 303 plus 0 0.0368 so 0 0.059 the variance is 0 0.0579 and the standard deviation <coughs> that is a risk standard deviation equals to <coughs> square root of variance so standard deviation equals to Square root of 0 0.0579. This is 0 0.24. So your standard deviation is 0 0.24. This is how we calculate the variance and standard deviation of expected returns. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.